Hey folks, Doug Blake with Body Design University. And in this video today, I want to talk to you a little bit about training frequency or the number of days a week that you're training your clients. I want to ask you a question. How many days a week have you set up in your business model to train your clients? Is it twice a week? Is it three days a week? Are you letting people train any days during the week? Or have you done probably the single most important thing? And here is the tip. The single most important thing you can do is start with the business model in mind first. See, keep in mind that when I first started training myself and I was training my clients, I basically trained four or five, even six days a week. Um, sometimes I would train, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, take Wednesday off. And I, or next week I would do Monday. And if I was too sore, I would take Tuesday and Wednesday off. So my schedule was all over the place. And when I started training clients, it became very similar to that. And what I realized is that it was untenable. So the business model that we recommend at Body Design University, and we've been doing at Body Design personal training for years, um, is based on the business model scheduling first. So here's the tip. Do yourself a big favor. Monday through Friday, you train, you train, you work out with clients five days a week but you offer two basic programs, a two day a week program and a three day a week program, which is fine. Look, you don't need to train people more than three days a week with resistance training. Don't get me wrong. They should be doing cardio on their off days, especially if they're trying to lose body fat, but we're not going to get into the physiology of this. I want to just get you to understand the main tip here is set your schedule so that you train your clients either on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And those are the only days those people train. Three-day week people train Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Or you have clients that, that basically tell you they can only train twice a week for whatever reason. Time, money, whatever, whatever that case is. That's always on Tuesday and Thursday. And I know what you're saying. But Doug, I've got clients that want to train on Monday and Thursday, Tuesday and Friday. Don't do it. This is the tip. OK, it's your business model that comes first from an operational perspective. Do that first and then let your clients know what your schedule availability is. It's one of the most important things you can do from an operational perspective. Don't train people more than three days a week. You don't need it's not necessary, especially if they're trying to lose uh, body fat and they're uh, the average client who's basically detrained, right? They're, they're not fit. They will get fit, but the three-day week is about it. And there's other, there's other reasons, and, and I can talk to you uh, about those reasons in another, in another video, maybe even next week. Uh, the point is, is that from a business modeling perspective, once you set up your operation schedule, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, that's it. When you sign up with me to train three days a week, it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's not Monday, Friday, and Saturday. Not Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Not Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. No, 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 no. It's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And that's it. You can either do it or you can't do it. If it's two days a week, it's always Tuesday and Thursday. Trust me, from an operations perspective, from your business uh, ease of running your business logistically, it is the best way to do it. Folks, it doesn't matter for your client's overall well-being, because as long as they're doing their nutrition part of the program and getting enough sleep, even two days a week of resistance training, remember what I said, resistance training, when they come in and work out with you, they need to be doing cardio on their off days. Get that? So keep in mind, the tip here is establish a scheduled, a scheduled business operational plan where people can only train with you Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's it. Or Tuesdays and Thursdays. Do yourself a big favor um, and set that up in your business operations. Now, when it comes to uh, doing online training, it's not as critical, obviously, because you're not meeting with individuals. But make sure when you do it and you're selling your online program, you make that a priority in explaining what the expectations are for the clients as well. It's always a pleasure coming to help you out with these pro tips. Look, if you have any questions or while you're training people, you get, a, you get something that pops in your head and you're like, man, I wish I, I wish I could get an answer to this question. That's what we're here for. 
So go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, please make your, uh, sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you uh, know when the new, new videos do come out. And we always appreciate it if you do let us know how we're doing with these videos. And again, have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.